This is my first ever live. I'm really excited. There's no one here yet, but hopefully there will be. I'm just going to keep going, like, as if there was people here. Um, I'm also going to adjust lighting. One second. Going to wait for just a minute before I kind of get into it. Um, but to start it off, I was actually thinking today about some dad jokes because one of my most recent videos was about dad jokes. And uh, there was a dad joke I wanted to put in that video, but I kind of forgot to write it down. And so since people will be coming on at some point um, and hopefully maybe watching this back, I thought maybe I would include that as in, like an icebreaker. So the question is, what did the Pink Panther say when he stepped on an ant? Anybody? Anybody? Dad ant, dad ant, dad ant, dad ant, dad ant, dad ant, dad ant. <laughs> I tell that one at work all the time. Hi, Creator Classroom. You're my only viewer right now. I have a wrench. I'm a wrench person. You are a wrench person. <laughs> You are the exact type of person that should have a wrench at all times because you're always fixing things for me. I kind of feel like a drowned rat right now. My hair will dry. Okay, so creator classroom, I have a question for you. Ouch. Okay. Background lights with or without? With or without? What do you think? With? Or without. Just because the switch is out of reach, so once it's on or off, it stays on or off. Once I let it go. On. Or off. Okay, cool. With, with it is. Don't fall. All right. With it is. That's like a really big space with no lights. That's okay. All right. Well, we've got two people watching. That's that's great for first for first live stream. I think that's great. I'm really excited about it. So I can, but I just feel bad having to like leave the screen to reach the switch. Um, but that's okay. All right. So I'm gonna start with. This is gonna be like the ultimate freaking um, one. Uh, what do you call that? Um, one take challenge because. I don't get to edit anything. <laughs> and that's very scary to me. Emma, hi, hun. My niece is in the chat. That's awesome. I was just thinking, why aren't you in school? Then I was like, it's August. Hi. All right. So I guess I'm going to start off. Everything I read online said to treat it like it's a real video. Um, because people watching later will be watching like it's a real video. So welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, my channel is, for those who are new, um, pretty much a bit of everything. I like to do vlogs. I like to do challenges. I like to do travel. I do a lot of videos with my sister. Um, people think it's a duo channel with me and my sister, but it's not. It's actually just my channel and I need her for emotional support. Um, so um, first and foremost, I need to apologize because I have a dog. I have two dogs and they both like to bark. Um, one is an anxious mess. Her name is Maya. She's an American Eskimo. And once she hears like the smallest sound, she'll turn, she'll hear the AC turn on and just start going nuts. And then she is my emotional support sister. And then Elsa is the bigger dog. She's a, she's a chocolate lab, but she is a bit of a copycat. So she hears Maya go nuts and she's like, I need to go nuts too. So then they have like this, I'm going to out bark you challenge. What they don't know is I do have some treats here. So if they do go nuts, I'll throw them both a treat. Not trying to reward bad behavior, just trying to keep them quiet enough for me to film a video. <laughs> um, so yeah, those. Um, and I also have notes over here. Yeah, um, that. All right. So basically for this live, ch live chat, uh, I'm going to be talking about a few different things. I want to talk about some videos that are coming up. I want to talk about a travel plan that's happening uh, this weekend, actually, um, actually tonight, I'm leaving tonight. Um, then I also kind of want to talk about a crazy health thing that's going on and also like update my fish tank has fish in it. 
hey, that's pretty cool, right? It now makes like a perfect little center or visual piece, if only it was like actually in the picture, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm totally going to be opening up the floor to questions if people come on later and have any, uh, if they don't, that's totally fine too. I'm okay with that. Um, actually I'm going to be honest so far. This is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be probably because both the people who are in the chat, I know, uh, but that's all right. <laughs> and going to try not to ramble. Although what you guys don't see when I cut things out of videos is that I ramble. Like I could be doing a straightforward, straight to the cut video. And I'm just like, cutting out like huge sec sections of just me going blah, 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 blah. So. all right um so yeah okay we're gonna just go into it um my little notes oh okay so something i want to say is rambling live stream that's pretty much what this is gonna be probably even with my notes i'm still just gonna be like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um and I'm going to be going on tangents, I'm sure. It's just kind of what I do. All right. So first and foremost, I need to say that a big reason why I decided to do most of these updates in a live video is because I don't personally watch update videos um, unless, like, I really like you. Like, I, I just watched an update video on someone that had a baby because I like that YouTuber and I wanted to know if they named the baby. And they named the baby and they won't tell us the name. So it's like, what the heck? Um, but I don't personally like update videos. I don't like filming them and I don't really like watching them because for the most part, when you watch a YouTuber or a content creator, you don't really sit here and think, Hmm, I wonder what you did at this exact moment and why you thought of something else and not me kind of thing, you know? So like if, the only time I really look for update videos is like if somebody who's like really well known for updating every single week decides not to upload for like a really long time, then I'm like, okay, dude, what's, what, are you okay? Like what's, what's going on? And that's kind of when I'm like, I want an update. I want to know what's going on. Um, so yeah, I don't really like doing update videos. That's why I thought I really want to do a live. And I mean, where better to do updates than talking to people live? I've got three viewers now. <laughs> It's the little things. I'm excited. All right. So for the first update, um, you know, I'm going to talk about uh, something that uh, it's been going on for a really long time. So I have a very, very highly request. Hi, Carol. How are you? Are you not at work? Anyway, um, I didn't tell my sister that I was doing a live today <laughs> because, uh, well, I didn't think she'd be able to watch anyway. Um, oh, you're not going to be what? Okay. Well then I'll do the, the fun stuff now so that everything that my sister already knows, she doesn't have to watch. Um, so Hey, Callie, guess what? Emma's in the chat <laughs> as in little niece, Emma. <laughs> uh, she's not really that little anymore. Anyway. Um, so yes, first thing I want to talk about is I actually have a decent size of a group that really, really, really wants this one specific video. Um, and I have honestly been giving a lot of excuses as to why this video hasn't happened. Um, so these people are on Instagram, they're on Twitter, and they're on Facebook. And they are like demanding a ultimate onesie challenge um, and or a ultimate not my arms challenge. It kind of changes. Um, it, like everyone kind of wants something different, but the basics is that they want my sister and I to be in the same shirt and the same pants like we were for the ultimate obstacle course. If you haven't seen that, you'll have to go check it out after this video. But basically they want us in the same shirt, the same pants and doing a daily routine. So a couple things. Number one, my sister and I live an hour apart and there is nothing normal about our daily routines if we're stuck together. So that's like one thing we really have to think about. Number two, neither her apartment nor my house was built for somebody who has four hands and four feet. Um, none, none at all. Um, <laughs> the, the, the bathroom is not wide enough. The stairs are not wide enough. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but in May, I fell down the stairs and, um, really badly sprained my foot. Um, and therefore I don't really want to be in the same clothes and same 
pants <laughs> as my sister <laughs> when we're trying to do, you know, be funny and silly and somebody's going to end up hurt. So I have a solution. And that video, those videos, a, a, v, a variation of that video will be filmed hopefully this weekend. We booked out a hotel because hotels have space, good lighting, and most importantly, aren't here. Um, we are going to be leaving. Well, I leave tonight to go pick her up and then we come back here because I couldn't afford to spend four $500 on a hotel. So we're going to be coming back here and then leaving super early tomorrow morning. We're going to Kingston and I'm really, really excited. I am a little bummed because we were going to do two nights there and then we could do Fort Henry one night and the, um, the, um, the, um, prison, the second, the penitentiary, the second night, but with it only being one night and we basically have to choose between the penitentiary or the ghost walk. And I think they both take place at night. Um, so yeah, I know I'm really excited too. Um, but yeah, uh, First of all, there's three of you in the in the in the chat. If you haven't gotten a chance to give this video a thumbs up, please do that. Let me know that you like live streams because actually it's kind of cool. It's kind of nice that I'm like I have no stress because I'm like I don't have to edit this after. I can as long as I don't say anything that I really shouldn't. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that not my arms ultimate onesie type video challenge should be film this weekend. And I'm putting it in this. I was like, oh, maybe I just shouldn't say anything in case it doesn't happen. But I'm saying that it will to hold myself accountable. And because I know that y'all are going to come after me if I don't film it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm holding you guys accountable too. <laughs> um, yeah. And also, okay, so now for the, the other stuff. Um, actually, something I haven't told my sister yet either is because I've been really stingy on my uploading lately, I haven't missed an upload. I've been doing shorts instead of full videos. But regardless, y'all could go. I was thinking about that, actually, going live doing like while doing the challenge. Um, and especially because we'll be in the hotel and the internet should be good. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what, what happens. But yes, so um, something I'm going to be announcing is to make up for my missed days is I'm going to be participating in Vlogtober, which means I will be hopefully doing a video every single day of the month of October. Um, hopefully I'll be starting to film those soon because God knows it takes a lot of time to edit and upload when you have a full-time job too. So, yeah. Yeah, I know, but I I, I mean, <laughs> I, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it too. Um, but that leads me to one thing. I want to do some major cool pumpkin carving videos like I've done in the past. In the past, I've done Sam and Colby, um, TFIL, um, Hocus Pocus, and a band that I used to love called The Latency. That was my first ever pumpkin carving when I was 16, and uh, I was featured on their website. It was, it was no big deal, and they broke up like a few few months later. It was fine. Um, but yeah, uh, so that I need I need you guys to leave suggestions in the comments or in the chat of people that you guys want me to carve into pumpkins. Now, the big the big thing with these is, all, first of all, it's really fun to do. I actually love it. I actually think about it a lot. Like, who am I going to carve into a pumpkin this year? Um, I think about it a lot. But it's also, like, a nice little way to be, like, just creepy enough <laughs> that that when people see their faces carved into pumpkins, they're like, what the heck? And they, they want to, like, click on the video, hopefully. So I know that when uh, I did the Sam and Colby one, I shared it on Instagram and Sam Goldbach of Sam and Colby actually took a picture of my pumpkin and put it on his Instagram story, which is really cool, actually. Uh, so that was, you know, it's a nice little way to get my name out there, too. I say you do someone that's really trending at the time. Well, I don't know who will be really trending in October. I like to do like scary themes. So I was thinking about doing like a YouTuber, maybe like something from a movie maybe i could do like the scream cover or something because isn't scream coming out again um ba -ba -ba -ba. and maybe i don't know i i really wanted to do like this is the joke that i was gonna do when i did the sam and colby one and i straight up said it in the video i said i was gonna do a charlie puth one because i was really into his music at the time mr beast yeah that would be really cool though to do mr beast i don't know I don't really know him very well. I've only seen a couple of his videos. Like there was one where 
um, he had like a bunch of people and their hands were on a house. And he's like, last to let go of the house gets the house. And I'm like, ah, what? Whatever happened to like last to let go of the car gets to go around the block in it. Like, <laughs> that's kind of like the, the way I grew up. Um, but yeah, like, and I, my, my running joke was that because uh, back in the day, everyone wanted a Sean Mendez and Charlie Puth cover um, or I mean, collaboration. So I was going to put Sean Mendez and Charlie Puth on the same pumpkin and then just, and then, or, or on two separate pumpkins and then put them in the same picture and say, look, it's the collab we've always asked for or something. Um, but then I was like, eh, good morning. Hi, thank you. I'm from Canada too. <laughs> Can't you see my maple leafs pillow? <laughs> thank you for swinging by. Um, so yeah, definitely. If you guys think of anyone that you want me to consider carving into a pumpkin, leave them in the comments below or in the chat. Yeah. Um, all right. So the next thing is I have a medical situation going on that I felt like I needed to talk about just because it's like bizarre. Um, me too. <laughs> I'm on Ontario as well. I am like three hours west of toronto southwest from toronto i'm like three hours from toronto um and we're heading up to kingston this weekend fun fun that's gonna be a six hour drive five and a half six hour drive i'm really really excited to stop and get milkshakes at laura secord somewhere i'm gonna look them up i'm gonna find out exactly where on my route they are and i'm stopping Stony Creek. I've never been there. So funny story. My dad used like has a lot of stories from Stony Creek. Like people, it's Stony, Stony Creek and Killarney. My dad used to go out there all the time. And a lot of people actually have, like, have stories about him there. And I'm like, I need to go there just so I can like be in the same place as he was at one point. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so that, every time I see Stony Creek, I just think of my dad. So never been there. But that's what I think of as my dad. Anyway, um, so really, really crazy medical thing I had going on. Okay, so that's way cool. That's so cool. Um, I'm really bad at staying focused. Uh, anyway, so about three weeks ago, I started having like pains. Like, well, yeah, pains. Like, and to tell you where the pains were without telling you where the pains were, my mom thought that they happened because my bra was too tight. So that's that. Um, and after like a week of like pain and discomfort and swelling, and I even did an incident report at work because I thought I threw my back out. Like it was in the front and in the back. And so then randomly this one Thursday, like just as I was thinking, like, I really need to go to the doctor. I need to get this looked at. These like welts like they looked like bug bites to me appeared pretty much everywhere that there was pain and I was like what the heck what is the what are the chances that something literally like attacked me <laughs> right now and I actually went online and I was like identify these bug bites because I was like something got into my bra and like tore my freaking my my like basically the entire like right side of my body up and so I was like I, I Googled it. I was like, could it be, I saw a red ant on my leg that day. And I was like, could it be red ants? Looked it up. No chance. Could it be fleas? I'm allergic to fleas. I've had flea bites. None of my pets have fleas. No chance. Could it be mosquito? First of all, I've had mosquito bites. They, they get really white and puffy. And second of all, I'm allergic to mosquitoes. So they don't just stay one size. They blow up. And third of all, I don't think a mosquito's body could survive in a bra, which is typically more of a tighter space. So I was like, okay, I'm ruling that out. And I was just like, maybe it was a tick. I don't know. Like I've never had a tick bite, but everything I read online was like, the way, you know, for sure it was a tick is you usually will find the tick. I'm like, okay. And I had my mom check and everything and there was no tick. So I was like, okay, well, I don't know what it was, but it's obviously not related. It's just a coincidence. And then like three days later, I went to the hospital because I was just I was at the point where I was like, I, I have breast cancer. Like I'm at the point where I'm convinced I have breast cancer. So I go to the hospital and I'm like, just so you know, these bug bites appeared like long after the pain started, they have nothing to do with it. Cause I was like 
thinking they're going to be like, oh, you're just having a reaction to this bug bite. Um, and then like, I was having such bad back trouble. Like my back was so sore and like the doctor came in and he's like, are you okay? I'm like, oh, my back is just on fire. I said, I, I threw my back out at work. It's not related. Well, turns out that the pain and the bites or the welts and all of this other stuff. Luckily it wasn't a tick. I will, I'll say that. Um, but when I, yeah, so I, the doctor leaves, he puts me, he tells me to put on a gown. He comes back. When he comes back, he goes, okay, so where exactly are all the rash parts? And I'm like rashes. No, they're not rashes. They're bites. Like, don't, don't, don't misconstrue this. Don't turn it into something. It's not, this is not a rash. It's bites. These are bites. And he's like, no, um, with everything that you've said, you have a textbook case of shingles. I'm 29, 29 year old. I'm supposed to get shingles. I had shingles. I had to take, I've, this is my ninth day off work. Um, I'm hopefully going back on Monday. I don't want to wait in the hospital anymore. The pain is still, it comes and goes. The rash is completely gone. I think, I think mostly there's like, I don't know. Um, but the, the pain comes and goes only in really in my back. Um, and that is actually a big reason why I had a really hard time filming videos. I tried, I really, really tried. I was like, this is like a full, like at a week at a time. I was like, this is a full week I have off work. I need to film that really bites. Ha. Well, they weren't bites. So pun doesn't work, <laughs> but yeah. So I was like, I have a full week off work and I should be filming. I should be spending my time because one of my biggest excuses is I have a full-time job and I'd never get a chance to film. Plus my son was at his dad's last week. But every time I sat down to film, it was like within a minute of hitting record, my back hurt so bad and I had to go get meds and blah, blah, blah. So that's another reason why I decided to go for a live chat is because I didn't want to spend the time editing. Wow, my water bottle really brightened up my video. <laughs> All right. So. That's that. I I am at the end stages of shingles. That whole build up, that whole story led to that. Um, it's pretty much gone. Like the pain, like I said, kind of it's still around. Kind of comes and goes. Doesn't it's not there all the time. Um, but yeah, that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have on my notes, though. Um, I I've covered everything. I guess that's what happens when you talk a lot really fast. Does anyone have anything else they'd like me to 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 talk about? Tell me one more time. Tell me more. Oh, I was literally listening to that. So every time I turn on my my page, um, like whatever I'm like going on my YouTube, um, the same video. I have like a feature of a feature video on my channel. So as soon as you go to my channel, it starts playing this video. It's a video of myself myself and my sister telling uh ghost stories, ghost experience stories. It's from a series I had called I Know What I Saw, and if you want me to bring it back, you should let me know, uh, because I actually really liked filming it, and now that everything's opening up and people are willing to sit down and talk with me again, it's something I want to do. Um, but anyways, uh, so this video on my my channel, it's gotten the, it's gotten the point to the point where it's played to about the middle section when you're streaming. The stream is, oh, okay, well, that, I didn't know that. Um Oh, I'll read that. Did you know that when you're streaming, the stream is in the feature section for the duration of the live stream? Yeah, no, I had no idea. Um, I had no idea. I don't generally go to people's pages. I generally just click on the video I see and I'm like, hey, it's a video. Um, but yeah, so it's like almost in the middle part and there's this part. So it's like right, right. So right after uh, the part, there's a, um, so my sister, we were filming in my sister's old hallway and um, her cat was downstairs with us and he was up in the windowsill where I had my tripod because I was ballsy and decided that my tripod was safe in the windowsill. And he got up and he started like nudging the camera and I'm like, no, Onyx, no, get down. And Caroline's like, no, no, he's fine. Leave him alone. And I'm like, but he's bumping my camera. He's making it wobble. <laughs> So that first me that part makes me laugh every time. But then right after that, um, 
Callie was telling a story where she said, like, I was like, don't, didn't you say something like talks to you in at night? And she's like, or no, there's something else. I don't know. But she was telling a story about how she was like woken up from a sleep, like by my dad's voice in her ear screaming like her name. And, um, and she's like, but I, I didn't, I didn't hear it. Like, uh, like it was like a yell. I was like, tell me more. Like what? And so we started singing the song. Tell me more. Tell me more. How much do did he spend? Da-da. And so every time. So she just said, tell me more. Tell me more. And I'm pretty sure she didn't see that in the video. I just I was actually when I was on my page doing some some fixing up. I literally just heard that. And I was like, I can't believe I actually. I was trying to figure out what the song was. And I'm like, tell me more. Tell me more. And then I was like, oh, I know what that is. And then I sang it. Wow, that was a tangent, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's also there when it's scheduled. I didn't know that. I just wanted to get you off topic. Are you going to be doing this again? Am I going to be doing what again? Live streaming? Probably. The only thing is that this is my last day on medical leave, I think. Um, I'm like, like, unless the pain gets worse and I go to the hospital. But I, I don't see that happening. But this is my last day on medical leave. So the thing is that... My son loves being on camera. Like, I don't like putting him in my videos too much because it kind of feels a little exploitational to me. Um, but so, like, I, I try not to put him in too many videos because, I, like I said, it just kind of feels like, you know, maybe he's too young to really, even though he wants to be and he demands it. Right now, he thinks he's going to do a blindfolded nail painting video on me. He wants to, uh, like, do a question and answer. Like, he wants to be, like, the interviewer. There's a lot of things that he really, really wants to to do. This here, Balloon Molly, the white guy right here, he and the beta are the only original fish I have left. Fun fact. Anyway, um, got to go back to work. See you later. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there around 6-ish. I know. I, I actually love being live. This is kind of cool. Uh, anyway, it just it just saves me having to edit and I can say everything that needs to be said. Now, if I were to sit here and do like one of my like little lists, because um, I've got like uh, two videos I'm, I've actually filmed, but I kind of hated. So I'm going to refilm are um, like 10 reasons I dread summer ending and then 10 reasons I'm excited autumn is coming. Um, I'm going to do two separate videos. Um, and they were going to both be really short. But anyway, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, um, so yeah, my son loves being on videos. Um, but like I said, it just feels really exploitational. Like unless we're doing like re regular things in like day-to-day -day life. Um, like when we go for hikes, he's like, film me doing this. And I'm like, okay. Um, he loves being on camera. And if I was to do a live when he's here, there's no chance. Like he, he is the biggest um he he loves attention like I'm convinced he's gonna be like a Hollywood star someday he just loves having the eyes on him and he will do pretty much anything to yeah he's a camera he kind of yeah like he's like I don't care what you want to say I want to show them that I lost this tooth, this tooth, this tooth, this, this tooth. I want to tell them the story about how I did a somersault in camp. I want to tell them the story about how I did a front flip off the diving board. Hey, mom, you have a video. You should fill, You should show them the video of me doing a front flip off the diving board. Like, he's he, he's really just like, all eyes on me, please, type. And that's okay. I'm the same way. That's why I have a YouTube channel. Um, the difference being that I am of age to decide that I want to be on the internet. And he's not. Um so it's really hard to do live videos. It, I imagine it's actually really hard to even film a video. Like the amount of time that I'm cutting stuff out because he knows I'm filming upstairs and he just like opens the door. What you doing? And he sees the camera and he sees the ring light. And he's like, I know what you're doing. I want to be part of this. And then he just kind of hangs around until he's invited into the video. And so live stream here a second. Okay. That's fine. I don't, I don't think that there's a uh, anything, anything anyone bugging. So that's okay. Um, but yeah, so I will be live streaming more. This is fun. This is actually, it was an easier setup than I thought. I was really, really nervous. I'm like, Oh my gosh, what do I, what do I do if this happens? What, what do I do if this happens? And like, I started off by apologizing for my dogs and they're both literally sleeping on the floor in front of me. So, I mean, I worried about that for nothing too. Yeah. So that they changed it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Stick around.
I don't know if that's a very good look if my moderator takes off <laughs> in the middle of the stream. <laughs> Just like, all right, you're boring me. I'm leaving. <laughs> that's fine. Um, yeah. Is there any other questions, comments, stories you're looking for? Su video suggestion suggestions you want to make? Anything, anything? There's four of you here. Hi, four of you. Trying to think of another story. Let me think of something. I'm trying to think of something too. Um, so I want to know how you guys feel about when I do um, like top movies and stuff like that. Like when I do my top 10 favorite movies, my top 10 favorite TV shows, top 10 favorite this, top 10. Like how do you guys feel about those? Do you like those? Do you not like those? Because um, I actually keep planning them and I'm like, nobody's coming to my channel to watch what movie, like to see what movies I like. Um <laughs> But then I'm like, but I don't know. I feel like I like movies for a reason. I feel like they're, they're I'm relatable in that way. I'm like, l like I like to like watch watch those videos just so I can be like, I've seen that movie. It wasn't as good as you're thinking, or <laughs> something of that general sort. I was current. I was actually working on a list of movies that star. Famous singers. Idea. Oh, what's your idea for October? Let me have it. In case you're wondering, I've already got Pumpkin Patch and Hayride and um, Pumpkin Carving. And I want to try to bake something using pumpkin. I was thinking about doing a Friendsgiving, but then I thought, I don't have enough friends that like YouTube for that. Um, movies to watch in October. I have that list ready. <laughs> I, I do have that list ready. And uh, there's there's actually two. There, two. There's one that's um, like Halloween related. And there's one that's like fall slash Thanksgiving related. There's a couple of empty spaces. Like I'm still trying to figure out what to put there. But yeah. So if you have just joined and you have not yet left a like on the video, please feel free to do that. It lets me know that you enjoy the, the videos I'm filming. Um, yeah. So, um, but I will give you a spoiler alert. Hocus Pocus will be on the list. But from what I've kind of heard or seen in uh, trailers, I'm not sure Hocus Pocus 2 will be on the list. Hocus Pocus has to be on the list because, fun fact, it was actually released on the exact day that I was being born. July 16th, 1993, that movie hit theaters, and I hit the universe. So, that's pretty cool. You can, you can consider me one of the Sanderson sisters because I returned on that day. I, I, I showed up on that day. I became part of life on that day. It's fate, exactly. Exactly. I am, I should be declared a honorary Sanderson sister, except for they're like kind of evil, but I mean the blonde hair, just like Sarah Jessica Parker, right? Except for mine's natural. 1993, I was in high school. I wasn't. <laughs> I don't know if I've already spoiled that fact or not, but I was not in high school. Um, yeah, no. I was in the hospital. I was in the Niku unit. Niku. I was. I was. I was early. My due date was like middle of August, so I didn't really have lungs when I was born. Not function ones, anyway. Ooh, ooh, something I didn't talk about. Okay, so as I've already mentioned, I've been on medical leave for the past two weeks, and um, something I actually like didn't have money to go to Kingston. True fact. I did not. I was like. Probably just going to cancel my hotel because I can't afford to go. I haven't gotten a paycheck and I'm not going to get a paycheck. And then I remembered that I've been saving up swag bucks um, since December. So swag bucks is a website. This is not a sponsored thing, clearly. Um, but swag bucks is a website that you can go on or an app that you can get. And you can fill out surveys. Or if you like to play games, you can actually play games. Right now I'm playing like a Yahtzee game and a Scrabble game, and another game. 
I can't think what it's called, but I'm playing three games. And basically it's like, if you get to this level within this many days, or if you just get to this level, then you'll get this many points. And so the points can be redeemed for gift cards. And so like the one game, it was like 4,000 points. If you can get to, he was like level 40 or something. And I did it. So I got 4,000 points and 4,000 points. I think, I think it's a 3,700. I'm pretty sure it's worth 50 bucks, but yeah. So I ended up getting, I, I ended, ended up redeeming $150 in ESO, which is gas uh, gift cards. And then a hundred dollars in Walmart. Cause I was like, well, it'd be a lot cheaper to just go to Walmart and get some groceries than to eat out every day. So Oh, okay. So um, my $50 gift card was $3,900. You see, meh, you see right, like right in the red. So I cashed out a $50 gift card and then another, there's a hundred dollar gift card for Walmart. And then there's one and two more $50 gift cards for ESO. And yeah, so I actually just went to the library yesterday and I printed those off. So now I have $150 in free gas for literally playing games. And um, I have $100 in Walmart gift cards for literally playing games. Because um, <laughs> I don't honestly do surveys normally. I've done a couple, but I like to do ones that are worth like 150 points. And those are usually like 20 minutes long. And who wants to do that for 20 minutes when you could just play a game instead? So yeah, like the one I'm playing right now, it was like you have to reach levels 4, 15, and 32 or something like that. There is no time limit. And every time you hit one of those levels, like the first one was 150 points, second one, like level was 150 points, and the third one, I believe, is 200 points. So once I hit 32. Hello, Living Creekside. How's it going? Welcome to the live stream. I've been just kind of rambling. <laughs> um, yeah. So the I do have a link in the description for that. Like I said, it's not sponsored. It's just one of those things that, like, I, I use it. I got my sister into it. I actually bought my Fitbit using a gift card from Amazon that I got um, during Swagbucks. Like I've been using Swagbucks for really, I want to go to the beach. <laughs> I mean, I love being in the house all day. I, I haven't really cleared myself for stuff like the beach yet because, you know. I know I saw a Living Creek sign on your live chat yesterday. That was yesterday, right? I love my fit, but for whatever reason, though, like it's been, I've had it for a year and three months and suddenly it stopped connecting to my phone. So I'm going to see if I can figure that out, but I love it. Your life stream, you stream for life. All right. So just to go over some of the things that I've already said, because you got some new people in the, in the, in the house. Um, so most requested videos and not my arms challenge slash ultimate onesie challenge slash stuck together challenge. And we will be filming that this weekend. I got to keep saying that so that if I don't film it, y'all come for me. Cause it, it's at the point where I deserve for y'all to come for me. Um, and second of all, starting in October, I will be doing a video every day for the whole month of October. Um, I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous because that's a big commitment. I tried to do vlog, vlogmas once. Asking for a recommend. Oh yeah, I'm. I uh, in the past I've done a couple different um, carvings. So I did when I was like 16 or 17. I did. I carved my favorite band, like their entire, the entire band, into a pumpkin, and that uh, ended up on their website. And I was like the best fan ever for like a week and then they broke up uh <laughs> but then uh not last year but year before so two years ago i did sam and colby um uh, which is a paranormal youtube duo uh they go to pretty much everywhere yeah on on my channel on my channel living creek side which one did you see if it was on my channel if it wasn't on my channel i'm just self-absorbed <laughs> Okay. Well, was it, was it a big group of people? Was it Hocus Pocus or Sam and Colby?
Anyway, Sam and Colby is a uh, paranormal YouTube duo. I'm like highly, very much so um, inspired by them um, because I love paranormal stuff. Carving a man face. You didn't watch it all. Oh, that's insulting. <laughs> if it was aim, it was probably Elton. I was probably doing Elton's face. Um, because I usually, well, I usually start it like the video with a, I'm just casually trying to look up all of them. It was on, I was just, well, oh, cool. Thanks. Um, where'd it go? I was just about to, to show you guys. Okay. So two years ago I did this one. It's Sam and Colby. Um, and then last year I did this one, which is Hocus Pocus. So we got, uh, Mary, uh, Sanderson, Mary, Winifred and Sarah, Sarah. Okay. Sarah, Winifred, Mary did that one last year. And then this one here is TFIL, and they're another paranormal group. Whoopsie. Uh-oh. All right. So they're another paranormal group. So the main guy's Elton. That's why he's biggest. Um, he is not very sure. Not sure. Very cool. I'm looking in my history. <laughs> is it that guy that you saw? Because if it's that guy, that's TFIL. So TFIL is another paranormal group. Um, Elton actually kind of started doing paranormal with Sam and Colby, and then they eventually branched off. Sam and Colby used to be part of TFIL. That's why I got into TFIL. So TFIL is another one they go to. They actually went to the Warren Museum. So if you guys have heard of uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren, they're like very, very famous for being psychics. They're the reason The Conjuring happened. Um, and the Annabelle doll is literally in their basement. Um, two... Two or three years ago, Lorraine passed away. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, two or three years ago, Lorraine Warren passed away. And she was the last keeper of the um, museum. And so they never let anyone into the basement. Like, it was only them. They were the only ones that were allowed to investigate. So now their son has it. And he was like, my parents didn't want anyone in here, so I'm not letting anyone in here. But then he found... TFIL or Elton Castay reached out to him and suddenly now they are literally doing like 13 videos. Actually, I actually think it was four, four videos. That's a big jump, four to 13. Uh, they're actually, they did four videos in the, uh, the Warren museum. They've also been to Zach Baggins museum. Oh no, that wasn't them. That was Sam McColby. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, they, they basically just, hello, Joyce Leah. Hello. Welcome. Um, but yeah, so they, uh, TFIL, they basically are just p paranormal investigators and, uh, they have all of the cool tools and it's like one of my dreams to, well, maybe not to investigate with them because Elton's a little bit, uh, aggressive. Um, but I would love to do like a paranormal investigation. I think that would be so cool. Um, so yeah, uh, I will be doing, that's, that's where we were going with this. Um. No, their YouTube group, I think he's got like 3 million subscribers. I think it's like th mm, something like that. Like he's, he's, they've got a lot of subscribers. Sam and Colby have 6 million subscribers. So they're a little more popular. The ones that were on TV, Sam and Colby. Oh, um, Ghost Adventures, which is Zach Baggins. He's got a paranormal museum. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing um, some more pumpkin carvings this year. Um, so like I said in the past, I've done Sam and Colby, Hocus Pocus, and TFIL. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions of people you want me to carve into pumpkins, let me know. Um, leave them in the comments. Leave them in the live chat, depending on when you're watching this. And hopefully I'll, I'll do it because I'm going to need 30 days worth of videos. <laughs> Not that I'm going to do 30 pumpkin carvings, but regardless, I will need, I want to make sure I'm carving people that people know. Duh. I will keep asking. Oh, okay. So, ha, I was actually, uh, that's one of the main things I actually co covered in this live chat. So I will say that one more time. So I'm leaving for Kingston tomorrow morning and we will be staying in a hotel. 
which actually solves pretty much every concern I've had for doing the ultimate onesie challenge because yeah, I, I, I was like, I'm really, I've had a lot of bad experiences with my footage getting uh, corrupted and deleted. And I really, really, really needed to do it in a safe way. So that if something happened, I could find out before I leave Kingston, cause we're staying in a hotel where it's well lit. There's lots of room and hopefully not hopefully that video will be filmed this weekend. I keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it because I need to hold myself accountable. That video will be, I can't tell the secrets. It hasn't been filmed yet. I don't know. <laughs> so who will be on the front and who will be on the back? Okay. So I'm seeing it in a few different ways. Um, actually, you're not the only one that's been requesting this video. I've been getting comments on the past videos of the Not My Arms slash Ultimate Onesie Challenge. I have been getting tons and tons of comments on there. Um, I've got five, four, five people in my Instagram comments or in my Instagram inbox who are like requesting it. And I've also got uh, two on TikTok. I clicked the link on here. Is that what you mean? The like on here. If you like. Oh, yeah. If you like, then I'm finally going to film that video after literally, what, two years of like promising that video. Give it a thumbs up because I need to know that you are excited about that. And if you like the fact that I'm doing a live chat because this is actually really fun. I've actually decided to call this the ultimate one take challenge because I, I spend a lot of time cutting my rambling out of videos. And this time it's like acceptable. I like it. <laughs> so yes, that will be filmed this weekend. My sister and I are going to Kingston. We leave tomorrow. We will be staying in a hotel. And while we are in the hotel, we will be filming this video. We will. There is no if, ands, or buts. We will. She promised. She promised. Um, right. So We were also discussing the possibility of going live during the filming of it. The possibility. That's, I mean, that's, that's part of what I'm going for here, but I'm also like just kind of really excited to actually be like interactive. Cause like, you know, when you're filming a video, you're talking to your ring light and your camera and you're just like, how do I say it in the best way? And then you go, you say it in like four different ways and hope to pick the best one. But this way, when I'm like, hey guys, guess what? I'm going to be doing this. I'm actually talking to somebody, you know? I'm not just like talking to the future me and then to the future you. I'm talking to you guys. I, I appreciate the comments. I, I've, my energy levels have been really, really low considering I'm getting over having shingles. Um, but I'm doing, I did, I did just drink a ice cap and eat a full donut and now I'm here and it's been almost an hour. So, oh, wait, it's, oh, wow. It's been an hour. No, no. In 10 minutes, it'll be an hour. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Why does that say an hour? And that says 48 minutes. And I'm like, wait a minute. That doesn't say an hour. That says 48 minutes too. <laughs> Math. Um, but yes, I appreciate that, uh, that you are commenting lots. 12 minutes left. Yeah. Yeah. That's my math isn't good. Okay. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber and a factory worker. <laughs> oh, I don't, I didn't put out a video. I, I actually said it earlier here. I'd like to say, I'd like, I'd say do a daily routine day of our lives. So waking up, walking, waking up, walking, washing up, watching TV, Editing videos, chores. Okay. Uh, dancing. Taking a nap. So, okay. I don't want to really give it away, but I've got like a very vivid image in my head. Um, what I was thinking is we're going to be doing like an, an ultimate onesie challenge. We're going to be wearing probably the same shirt, same pants for one thing. Um, what we might do is we might do like an, a not my arms, like just the arms for a live chat. We might do that. We'll see what kind of time we're working with because we are going to be kind of traveling. So 
that was actually an idea from the creator classroom is why don't you do a not my arms during live live streaming that's like a phenomenal idea and if the internet connection is good then absolutely i will try to talk my sister into doing that um and so without spoiling anything like i said we're gonna be in a hotel so we're gonna be i will not be editing videos probably when i'm out i'll wait until i get home um man you're trying you're making me think i'm trying not to give things away but i'm also trying to tell you like my plans um so i want to do a i was ho- i was thinking about doing a like back to back kind of like i don't know siamese twins tell me first i need to know is there anything that could be potentially offensive by me filming a video back to back with my sister and like it might come out I might say during the video that we're like Siamese twins or something and I don't want to be incorrect you know what I mean the last thing I want is to make people upset when I'm trying to be funny okay so I'll try to avoid that particular We'll stick to like not I will just stick to like ultimate onesie anyway but um so in case you haven't noticed because you were asking who's gonna be in the front who's gonna be back um Callie is like a solid five feet tall uh five feet whoa a solid five inches conjured oh conjoined I thought I said conjured I was like conjured that's an interesting one conjoined would be better okay 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 um I am too, but I'm also like really stressed out because you only kind of get one chance to film those videos, you know? It's kind of like when you're like filming your child's first steps and you're waiting for that moment. And the mil- once it happens, it's over. Because <laughs> we actually filmed one before and the footage all got destroyed while I was, I, I used an old camera and that camera was known for ruining my SD cards. But there will eventually be, oh, well, there, I, we'll see. I can't make promises. Probably. I mean, I feel like if we're going to, if we're going to go all out, we're probably going to film more than one video worth of content. Probably, possibly, probably, probably, maybe (laughs) you're putting me on the spot. I don't know what to say. Um, there will probably be. Okay. So she is like a solid five inches taller than me. And therefore me being in the back would be very awkward. I think, um, it would basically just be like, here's her back, here's my face. Um, she's she's a solid like five inches taller than me. Will you have a third person? I will not. It will be tripod. Um, there will be tripods. I'm gonna bring a second camera. There will not be a third. I wish there was. That's what I've kind of been wanting is a third person. Um, I will be with my friend Paz. Um, but I do not believe they will be filming with us. Um, I think I'm just gonna be hooking up with them for dinner and stuff. So, um, honestly, definitely Callie should be in the back. Yeah. Well, it also kind of makes more sense. Like she's, she's a beautiful woman, beautiful face, probably prettier face than mine. That's okay. I'm going to be honest about that. She wears really nice makeup. Um, but it is my channel and I feel like the face of the channel should be in the front anyway. So it kind of works out better that way anyway. Um, you're going to, no, probably not. I'm actually just going to focus really hard on not getting kicked out of the hotel. Um, she and I laugh a lot and we laugh very, very loud and we get quite out of control. And I can only imagine like <clears throat> when we're both trying to like walk and stuff and you, I, I can only imagine it's going to be kind of loud. So I'm just going to focus really, really hard on not getting kicked out of the hotel well my plan is to not film it like late late at night so like i think if it's like after 11 then it becomes a noise issue but if it's not 11 o'clock then they can't really say anything i believe now i'm not going to sit there and blast music or anything it's just pretty much gonna be us laughing and now let me ask you if you worked at a hotel and you heard a lot of laughing coming from a room that you know there's two people in would you want to open the door I wouldn't want any part of that. Do y'all have a continental breakfast? Because I don't think that's included. 
hotel prices skyrocketed. I have never paid as much for a hotel as I've been paying for this one. Um, like in the past, I've stayed at a hotel in Kingston. I usually stay at the Comfort Inn and Suites. And that's usually like $150 a room, uh, a, a night. And I usually, like in, in the past, like I stayed there um, two years ago. And it was only like $220 for two nights. <clears throat> I need to head to work. Been able to see the live stream. Thank you for swinging by. You can always come back and check out and find out all the other details later if you'd like. Don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, yeah, no, um, Best Western is my favorite. <clears throat> um, fun fact, if you're Canadian, I don't know if you are or not. Um, the Richmond Hill, <coughs> I'm losing my voice. The Richmond Hill um, Best Western has like a full breakfast for free like and i mean like they've got scrambled eggs they've got toast they've got every kind of bacon you can imagine they have hard-boiled eggs scrambled eggs um you can you can literally make like stir up make waffles while you're standing there and it's free i lose my voice because i never stop talking <laughs> i never stop talking once i get into it i never shut up <laughs> It's, it's it's a common thing. Once I get excited about something, I will talk until I'm literally like, <clears throat> sorry guys. <clears throat> so like, and that's a problem. You'll, you might notice that in some of my videos too. By the time that I do the outro, I'm like, thank you guys for watching. See ya. In the mode. Oh, do they? Which, yeah. Oh, it, like in, was it a best Western? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't, obviously, that was the one in Richmond Hill. And I've actually stayed at that exact motel or hotel, sorry, maybe six times. Um, every time I have a, tr a concert in Toronto, I always stay in Richmond Hill because, first of all, it's only like 15 minutes to Toronto. Second of all, it's got the best breakfast. And I'm a big breakfast person. Like, if I can't have a meal for breakfast, I'm not touching breakfast. And so, like, they have, like, the option of fruit and of, like, eggs and bacon and toast. And they've got everything. Like, they have a full spread. It's, like, it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. All you have to do is pay for the room. And the rooms there are always the cheapest. My sister and I actually considered booking a room out tonight in Richmond Hill. So that would be halfway to Kingston. And then booking out the hotel in Kingston. I don't really like continental breakfast is kind of a waste to me because I don't like bagels. I'm not really a big fan of cereal. Um, and well, my sister, like, I mean, oh, hi, Lily. My sister and I are probably just going to go. We're going to go to Denny's. Lillian, get off there. Meet Lillian. Hey, hey. All right, now go. It's literally how filming videos goes. I'm just like, oh, it's Lily. Say hi to Lily. Okay, bye, Lily. And then I cut it out of the video anyway. Yeah, I, see, my thing is I really like pancakes. I really like, I'll only eat bacon if it's like super, super well done. Like I don't like any textures at all. Um, I won't really eat sausage. So here's the thing with me and like sausage and stuff like that is it's like, you know, when you're eating eggs and you are you know, halfway through, you're really enjoying your eggs, and then you get that crunch. And you're like, why is that there? Oh, there goes my dog. I warned y'all. Maya! Um, I have four kitties. So she's a rescue from the shelter. Look, so she's a... Oh, come here. She's a rescue from the animal shelter. Um, why somebody wouldn't want her, I don't know. Well, she was born in the animal shelter. Get down. She likes my fish tank. Um... Then I've got Rubble. He was, I found him in an abandoned warehouse. Um, he actually attacked my, my dog. He didn't have teeth yet. Um, and he is named Rubble because he was found in a abandoned um, store, warehouse that was like filled from top to bottom with garbage. There's a video on it on my channel somewhere. Um, but yeah, like, yeah. So that's how I am with like processed foods, like hot dogs, sausages, anything like that is like, Every time I have that, I always seem to get like some sort of a texture that it just makes me want to not eat it anymore. Um, and kind of in a not so gross way, regurgitate what I've already eaten. <laughs> um, but bacon is like my one thing because I love salty food. 
And, uh, but it has to have like, there can't be any texture, but crunch, like there can't be a squishy spot or I'm done. Um, so that's why I just tell people I'm a vegetarian. It makes life easier. I don't like chicken. Um, I don't like turkey. I don't like hot dogs. I don't like, I'm eh, with hamburgers. I really like the A&W, uh, beyond the meat burger. That one's really good. Um, I really try to avoid processed foods as best I can. I do have a thyroid condition and that makes it really hard for my metabolism to break stuff down. So I do try to, I'm trying to work on my weight and stuff like that and trying to be healthier. So generally like for my lunches at work, I have like, I'll have green pepper, red pepper, kiwi. Kiwi is like my favorite right now. Apparently it's like really high in fat burning chemicals. Um, eh, good for me. I know. Eh. Um, but then I usually will have like some like saltine crackers or something for like the carb or to fill. You're allergic to kiwi. What? I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I'm allergic to dust. Kind of makes, like, I love going to abandoned places, but I always have a really hard time after that because I get, like, the dizziness and I usually have to drive after. And anyway, um, but yeah, so uh, that's actually something I was thinking about for the uh, Not My Arms Challenge is just buying cereal and milk and using our little it's not, there's not even a kitchenette, I believe, in this room. I think that the only room that was available had, like, a king-size bed, so it's not even two beds. So my sister and I are going to be sharing a bed for the first time in, actually, it hasn't been that long, because when I sleep over at her house, uh, we share a bed. But usually, I get a room with two beds, um, even if it's just her and me. But I always stay in Richmond Hill when I go to Toronto for the night, uh, because Richmond Hill... Honestly, I've never had a better hotel experience. Like every time I go to a concert. So if I go to, I went to a Charlie Puth concert. I've gone to a bunch of floor concerts and Paradise Fears concerts. Um, use the ironing board as a little, woo! Why haven't I ever thought of that? My eyebrows did funny things when I did that. I was like, woo! <laughs> that's an amazing idea. That's, that's an awesome, wow. I've been staying in hotels for a really long time and I've never, you said you're going to come to the U.S., specifically North North Carolina. That hasn't been planned yet. Well, we'll have to work on that. I don't have a passport. <laughs> so right now I want to travel Canada, but I do really want to come. And, like, I think about that all the time. I, I was thinking about when you were doing your live yesterday. I was like, I need to go and film a video with this girl. Um, we, had, we had our groceries delivered from Safeway. See, I don't have – I live in a really small town. Like, there's, like, 400 people here. We don't have delivery of anything. No groceries, no medications, no pizza. We have to drive for everything. Tim Hortons is like a three-minute drive for me, which means it's like a 15-minute walk. Actually, it's probably farther than that. I'm going to be honest. It, like, just to get – yeah, I guess I could maybe get there in 15 minutes, but then I'd have to, like, order. It would take me, like, an hour to get back because then you have to eat. And, ugh. We – because we could do – you know what? When I first saw that, I thought you said because we could live together. <laughs> I was like, well, I wouldn't be moving there. <laughs> I was Disneyland. We just recently got delivery to our house. Are you in, you're not in Canada then. Disneyland's not in Canada. I was thinking you were in Canada. You're a U.S. girl too, huh? Yeah. But yeah, no, like I love going to Owen Sound where I was born and raised because they have delivery. Like when I lived in Toronto, I was literally getting Swiss Chalet, Harvey's, Chinese food, delivered nightly. How did I afford that in university? Don't know, but I did. And I did it nightly. Um, actually I would generally order a pizza and it would last like three days. And I'm like, okay, I've saved up money for three days. So now I can order Chinese food. Um, delivery is a game changer. <laughs> and I, I want to move to a bigger town for the reason we can't. Oh yeah. I can't even get del like groceries delivered. So I got to keep my, keep my feet working and my car working so that I can go get groceries on my own. I also have to drive at least 15 minutes to get to a grocery store worth going to because the grocery store here in town, because it's a small town, everything is so expensive. So like, for example, for a small pack of like Raymond noodles, ramen noodles, we call them Mr. Noodles, um, Walmart in, in the town over from me, 15 minutes away. Dollar General. None of our dollar stores are just dollars. Our Dollarama is up to 550. So it's like 
wow, you might find something for a dollar at Dollarama, but mostly it's like four fifty and up. <laughs> so like Dollarama is not even, we have a dollar tree, but they've just moved everything up to a dollar fifty. <sighs> inflation, inflation, inflation. And here I am not making inflation in my wages. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I was talking about. I did it again. Dollar General isn't a dollar store. Dollar Tree moved. Yeah, so there's a dollar fifty here, and I think our dollar is worth. Like when we go shopping, everything has two tags. There is the U.S. price, and there is the Canadian price. For some reason, the Canadian price is always like significantly higher. Like, does this have one on it? I'm trying to find something with a price tag. Like, uh, like a book. So. If I was to find a book at Walmart that I really like want to check out, it's like $14.99 for US or like $18.99 for Canada. I'm like, but why? <laughs> so I don't know. Yep, I get it. You have a little store across our road. It's little countries. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. So yeah, um, like the it's like so for like a little pack of Raymond no ramen noodles, whatever you guys call them. I don't know, like Raymond Ramen. We just call it, like I said, Mr. Noodles is what we call them. At Walmart, 15 minutes away, they are 37 cents a package. Then you go here, and they're 87 cents a package. It's a pretty big jump. It's literally double. So, like, it's more worth it to do the drive and just spend the gas to go there. Um, yeah, so, like groceries for me. I can't have them delivered. I have to go get them. And more often than not, I take the 15 minute drive. 10 for a dollar. That was, I'm not sure if that ever happened for us. If it, if it did, I was really young and I didn't really like my snoodles until I was in college. And then I ate too many and now my son likes them and I only eat them because he likes them. Yeah. Well, like I remember even like, um, a two liter jug of soda, two liter jug, not a jug, bottle, two liter bottle of soda um, used to be like 86 cents. Now it's like $3. It's crazy. Not that I drink soda very often. My fish are all just sitting here waiting for me to feed them because they see me and they're like, you're going to feed me. Where are you? Why aren't you feeding me? But they've already been fed. They just forgot. So. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't remember why I started talking about the grocery store. Truth being, I have no idea. I can't remember. <laughs> um, feeding the fish segment of the live stream. Yeah. Cans, no plastic. What do you mean? Cans, but no plastic. Did I miss something? <clears throat> oh, soda and glass. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we were talking about breakfast. We we're talking about continental breakfast. And then we we're talking about something about delivery came up. And I was talking about, yeah, small towns kind of suck. And like what really, really, really kind of womps. I'm going to use the word womp because I don't want to use the word suck twice. Um, but what really, really isn't fun is that even like my friends that do YouTube, because I actually have a couple friends in the area that do YouTube. And um, <clears throat> they're all like at least an hour away. Yeah, the iron board. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, bring a cool sheet so that I can have my own um, tablecloth. That's what I'm gonna do. But so like I want to make friends like in Toronto area so we can like film and stuff. Womped. Like like I said, you bet you yesterday. Yeah, and that was funny. You're like that wasn't even my accent. <laughs> that was funny. Um, I actually stole that from um, TV show on Disney. Recess. I used to watch that as a kid. I don't actually know if it's on Disney. But anyway, um, I do want to do more like collabing with people. Um, so if this video ends up in the in front of the eyes of someone in Ontario, Canada who does YouTube, feel free to reach out because I want to do some collabing videos. In the past, I've done collaborations by sending Canadian snacks to Americans. Um, Creator Classroom is one of those Americans. And uh it was fun. I really enjoyed doing it. And I really want to do it again, except money is expensive. Mailing things is expensive. And well, summer's hot and you can't really send 
I know it was fun, but you can't really send like chocolate and stuff in the mail in the middle of August. It'll just all melt. So I've been trying to get together, like get another one of those collabs together. But it's really hard to be like original. Are you close to Peter McKinnon? I don't know who that is. I was really, <laughs> when I was reading that, when I saw Peter, I, I instantly was hoping it was going to say Peter Pan. <laughs> she sent it a lot. I did. I sent out, I've done two different videos where I've sent out Canadian snacks. And both of those videos, the shipping alone, I remember it was like over 80 bucks just for shipping, like for, for multiple. It wasn't just one. I think the first one I did five and the second one I did four. <clears throat> I will have to look that up. You did get, I think you got the same one as a lot of other people, but you also are the only one that kind of like really reacted. Um, one of uh, one of the other ones, uh, half his footage got deleted. So he's like, ah, well, I've tried everything that I felt like trying, but then he ended up just like sketching his favorite out of the box, which is really, really cool. Um, but then like with my last collab, it kind of wasn't as great because I actually had like a personal connection with a lot of the people that I did in the first round. Um, you also, yeah, the Mr. Big was a big hit because you did a separate video with the, uh, where you guys made Mr. Big jokes. Uh, <laughs> So that would have been a big hit on you guys, but, um, yeah, people really liked watching the unboxing videos, but people didn't really like watching the packing videos, which I actually thought they would because people, I like watching people pack things. Um, but yeah, so last time I did that one, um, I had two that were like amazing with it. And then I had one who, like, I always, what I do is I say, like, I want you guys to film your videos, your unboxing videos, and then we're going to release everything on the same day. And that way I can put everyone's links in. Everyone's had equal amount of time. And I had someone that decided that not only was he going to go on a multiple month hiatus during that, um, but he also didn't, didn't follow through with the, the, so you kind of, when you do a collab, you kind of make like agreements, like, so here's the deal. I'm going to send you this. You're going to do this. This is how I want it to, you know, and you have to kind of make sure that everyone's on the same page because you want to make sure they're putting in the same amount of effort as you did. Um, yeah, Yang got hers a year later. <clears throat> it was like actually like eight months later. Um, and I was like, oh, I, I thought I figured it just got thrown out because it was going to the Philippines. And I was like, oh, clearly it just didn't get past the border. Um, but yeah, so one of the people ended up like he just didn't he didn't upload the video on time. And like, he, he did it like months later. Like he, he told me he got the box and then he just never filmed the video. He just let the box sit there. So by the time he opened his, it had been like literally sitting in the elements and like melting and whatever else. Um, and then, um, yeah, I, so it was just like, I, I did actually start planning to do another one. I started buying all this stuff for it and trying to find people to send them to. And all the people that were interested at the time, it, they were like, they were, um, <clears throat> like you, I would look at their channel and they were like, they weren't regular uploaders. Um, I had a lot of people who were like, I haven't actually uploaded a video yet, but if you send me a box and that'll be my first video. And I'm like, you know, and you don't want to be selfish about it. You know, like it, it's, it's supposed to be, um, like equal potential for both of us. Like, you know, when I send a thing, like when, when we collab, I'm being exposed to your audience and you're being exposed to mine. And so having people who had never even uploaded a video, I'm like, but you're literally, you don't have anybody, you know, like the point of a collab is to share each other's audiences and content with each other's audiences. Anyway. Yeah. So it, I got a lot of people wanting to, to do videos with me, but like a few of them didn't speak a word of English and they're like, I'll learn English for this video. And I'm like, but then your entire audience won't have any idea what you're saying. Um, like there's just different things. And so I just, I just decided not to do it. Um, at least not now, maybe later when money's a little better. And maybe once I've made a little bit better, more of a, a, a name for myself here on YouTube, I'm hoping that with live chats and actually like regularly uploading, I'm hoping that my channel will grow a little quicker. So we'll see what happens. Um, um, does anyone else have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything else they want to want to touch on before I find another tangent to take? 
cough, cough, regular uploading. I've been trying. Okay, to be fair, I have not missed an upload. I have not, I have not not uploaded. Um, what I've been doing is if things aren't looking good for uploading a video, like if I haven't been able to find the motivation or the energy to film something, I've been putting up shorts. There's always been, you can look, there's never been a week that I haven't uploaded anything. I always upload something. Um, it's just, I prefer to do the videos that I'm like, that are planned. I like going on hikes. I like doing things. I still want to go whitewater rafting this year. It's still on my list. I just have to not be sick for, you know, a total of a minute and a half of the summer. <laughs> Cause like first I had COVID in April, then I had a sprained foot in May. Now I have, I'm getting over shingles. I have a feeling you love create. I, I love this. It's great. <laughs> Actually, the reason like, um, there's a, there's a girl I watch on YouTube. Her name is Devin Lundy and she does lives. And what, what really confuses me and maybe it's just me, but is it like, she'll have 15,000 people watching her as she's putting on her makeup. <laughs> and I'm just like, if I was good at makeup, that would be a perfect, perfect idea. But me, someone with very little talents, I just love talking and I love creating. And, um, so, and I love doing things and I'm like, I love documenting my life. Um, I, I'm just like, what can I do besides talk to people? <laughs> so, yeah, it is a lot, but I'm hoping, you know, three is the magic number and it's going to get better now. Plus I have twinkle lights behind me. So how bad can it be? Right. I've got four people, everybody. Don't forget to leave thumbs up if you like, like live videos. Cause I, I'm probably going to do another one very, very soon. Probably like tomorrow night. Um, so if you're around, we're going to be doing the ultimate onesie challenge or not my arms challenge. I said twinkle lights. What do you think? Do you like them? Yeah. So I was like, do you want twinkle lights on or twinkle lights off? That was before, no, that was before anyone was here. And I'm thinking about doing a makeup. I want to do one like Bailey Sherry or something. I don't know who that is. Oh, okay. That's fine. See, my sister and I have done blindfolded makeup challenges. Well, she did it on me and then I was supposed to film the other one, but we both just got so tired. Someday we could, that would be fun. I would be down. I do plan, I'm thinking maybe next year will be the year that I do like a US thing. I thought it would be like really, really cool to actually have like a couple more viewers or um, subscribers in the US before I go. And I would love to do like, and that's like a big thing is like, I really want to do meet and greet someday. That would be really fun to me. Like that was, I think like the biggest reason why I used to really want to be a musician is I'm like, I just really want to be able to connect to people and be like, be an inspiration to somebody. Hey, Court. Me, sorry. I give people nicknames without permission. I'm sorry. Courtney is one of the ones. Oh, you actually, you you were the one that suggested the onesie challenge. The one that, or did you comment on that one after? I know you, you okay. So Courtney is the one, Court, okay, cool. Court is the one that requested, I believe after we did the Not My Arms challenge, you requested on that one for the ultimate onesie challenge correct? The one that we did, the, we did in the backyard, or did you comment on that one asking for something after? See, that's what I love is like right now I don't have enough subscribers to the point where I'm like, I, I remember everyone. Yeah. Okay. So did you comment on that one requesting another one? Or did you, I do that. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I think I did it out of like nerves. I've talked to Courtney of like a lot. Like there's a one video where like we had like a full conversation. So I'm, I'm like, we're friends now. Um, well, I mean, and to be fair, the only major nickname I can give you right here is like the CC, TCC, the creator classroom, TCC. Right. Okay. So um, you're one of the ones that I'm kind of updating with this, with this news. So um, this weekend, I am going to be traveling with my sister. We leave tomorrow morning. And when we are out, we will be in a hotel. And therefore, we will be doing a ultimate onesie challenge um, where we do basically, um, yeah, where we basically do like lion, <clears throat> sorry, where we basically do um, 
like not my arms challenge slash the onesie challenge slash the stuck together challenge slash conjoined twins challenge slash whatever else is called these days. Um, we're going to be doing like regular uh, routine with that, hopefully. And we're talking about doing a live tomorrow. You know, I'm, I'm saying we're talking about doing a live tomorrow, but I haven't actually confirmed that with my sister yet. So basically I'm just going to hit, hit start and see if she's, um, <laughs> everyone I'm just going to be like, Hey, I'll see what's up. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so we will probably, possibly, maybe be doing a live stream while doing the Not My Arms Challenge, which is going to be a challenge for me because I talk with my hands. Um, and I like to, you know, try to show off my tattoo without looking like I'm showing off my new tattoo. I'm like, hey, guys, let me just roll up this sleeve really quick. <laughs> um, <sighs> that's okay. I'm I'm actually, I was, I've kind of tried bringing this, this, full circle a couple times to end it. I'm losing my voice now. Um, but I just don't know how to end it now. I'm like, it's like when you get on a roller coaster and you're like, okay, I'm on. Now how do I get off? I have to wait till the end of the ride, but when's the end of the ride coming? It's like, we just keep going around and around talking in circles. Super excited to see. Hopefully I can watch. If not, can you keep the, yeah, I will keep it. I'll keep this one too. Um, so if you're watching in playback <laughs> and you've made it to this point, let's, what's a fun word they should comment so that I can give them special attention in the comments later. <laughs> She was here earlier, but I didn't say it. And she was probably like, because she works at a re retirement home. So she was probably <clears throat> watching. Typically, the live streams are video on demand show up three, four hours after. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Dang it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I've tried to end this a few times. I'm just like kind of stuck on a loop. Thanks to the creator classroom. Okay, so the creator classroom, if you are a creator, ooh, special word, iron board, okay. Yeah, if you're watching in the playback and you've made it to this point, comment down below iron, I think it's ironing board. Ironing board, not iron board, right? Comment down below ironing board. And if you know what it means, then that's awesome because that means you've actually watched everything. You haven't just like fast forward. Into the show. Um, but, and then I'll give you some sort of special attention in the comments below. I don't know what, what kind of attention, but. Iron board, ironing board. Is it the same thing? Is it is it is an iron board a thing or is it an ironing board? I'm gonna be stuck on this for the rest of the day. We have to turn on supernatural just to clear it all out. That is what I've been doing for the past two weeks when I have been off on medical leave. I haven't been filming because I've been in pain. Um, I've been I've been watching Supernatural listening to podcasts and the two main podcasts I'm listening to three, three main podcasts I'm listening to are based on Gilmore girls, which is a show from the nineties and boy meets world, which is a show from the nineties. And it's like, for those two, it's the two main character, like Luke from Gilmore girls. If you like Gilmore girls, he's talking, he's literally rewatching the series for the first time he's ever seen it. And he's talking about it every episode. That's what his podcast is. And then for the boy meets world one, it's called pod meets world. And it's Danielle Fischel, uh, Sean Hunter, um, Ryder Strong and Will Fradel. And they are Sean Hunter, Topanga Lawrence and Eric Matthews from Boy Meets World. And they're rewatching the whole series and they're talking about they're bringing on extras. and It's great. Um, that's been really fun. And then I'm also watching one on Shadowhunters. So as most of you might know, I'm a big fan of like science fiction stuff. Um, there's a book. A series called The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, and this show is based on that. Um, so it's called The Shadowhunters <clears throat> Mortal Instruments. It's on Netflix. It's a great show, but they that ended six years ago, four years ago. So they that was a big jump, four, six, a while ago. It ended a while ago. So now they're doing, um, a, so the one that played Clary Frey, which is uh, Kat McNamara, and Dom Sherwood, who played Jace. They're rewatching it and they're bringing everyone on. It's, I love it. I was so there and I tend to shorten words. Fair, fair. I, I tried to get off the tangent. I, I, I moved on. <laughs> I'm not very good at moving on. So I'm happy that I did. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I've been, I've been listening to a lot of pod, podcasts. I've been watching a lot of Supernatural. And then my mom and I are watching Chicago Fire. And we're on season nine, which means that I'm going to have to find out how to stream season 10 soon. Um, that is what I've been doing for the past two weeks. And I've been taking pain medications regularly, hence the fact that I'm still sitting. Um, and 
Can't wait to see the Not My Arms. And I will, I want to say I'll dedicate the video. I've got like seven names I'm supposed to be shouting out for the idea for that one. So <laughs> I'll, I'll try to keep note of everyone because um, half of them are on YouTube, half of them are on Instagram, and two or three of them are on Twitter that are like, why haven't you done this video yet? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm trying. It's just something's always coming up. Um, all right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. It's been an hour and a half. I'm going to let y'all go about your day. I'm going to, I'm going to get off. Uh-huh. Yeah. They, they've, they've been very helpful. I, every time I ask for suggestions, it's the same video that's suggested. And I'm like, but I can't do that right now because what people don't, what people don't see is that my sister lives an hour away and we, this house was not built for YouTube. This is the only wall that looks like a wall in the house. That's why like normally when I'm in like the studio, which is my sister's bedroom, but she doesn't live here. I have like a sheet up, but that's because like all of the room, all of the walls in this house, no lie. If they're not wood paneling, they're red, like, or like a really ugly olive green. And those don't translate very well for, for YouTube. Um, because who wants to watch a red video? Like, <laughs> It's just kind of how it is. So like, this is the only wall that has like a cool enough texture that I'm like, I'm going to film here. It's like the easiest setup because I've had these lights up for months. My cat keeps trying to eat them all, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, like it's really, really difficult because I can't film with my son here because then he wants to be in every video and I can't film when my mom's awake because she's got a really bad tendency for like being really loud <clears throat> unintentionally. So like she'll be sitting in the chair and just start like, coughing or like she's like I can't hear the tv and she turns it up so she can hear the tv over me but then I'm like you can't have the tv on when I'm filming because copyright um but she doesn't understand so um yeah it's it's like the one video that everyone wants to see but it's like <clears throat> impossible to actually film <laughs> that's why I'm like okay we're booking up I'm, I'm I'm paying for a hotel we're filming it and she's like okay like, that's my sister. She's like, okay. Haha. She said she's really excited. She said that she's been wanting to film it for like a year. Like I keep talking about it, but she's like, but every time we, we decide to do it, one of us is just too tired. And usually it's her, but sometimes it's me. So, okay. I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, it's been an hour and a half and thanks for starting off the morning with great news. That's what I'm here for. If, if you're not here to spread some happiness, what are you here for? Bye. Bye, Emma. Oh, wow. You stuck around for the whole thing. You, 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 you rock. Say hi to your dad <laughs> for me too. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. But if I don't live stream tomorrow, then I'll see you guys when I upload. Bye. Got to end the stream. This is awkward. Bye. 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 End stream. Ha. Oh, it didn't stop. Now it did.